What's up guys, Vince Blaze here with Adventures Within Media. Hope you guys are doing well. It's a cloudy day today, which is amazing for lighting. We're here at the mailbox of my condo. And the reason why we're here is because we're actually shooting a short film. So Tori and I have been trying to work on developing some films just to get some practice in the whole filmmaking industry. So screenwriting, obviously, and developing of scripts and stories, but also filmmaking, obviously, shooting, setting up, and editing in the whole post process as well. And the reason why we decided to go with this film today is because we actually were inspired by trying to shoot a short film with an Osmo action. So this is obviously not a cinematic camera. This is an action camera that's typically used for action sports, snowboarding, surfing and stuff like that. The reason why I originally got this camera was for some underwater filmmaking because it's very useful for the kind of scenario. But I've always wanted since I got it to get the opportunity to shoot a short film with it, something cinematic. And that's exactly what we're going to be doing today. We're going to be using this camera and placing it inside of the mailbox itself giving the viewer a point of view perspective of that mailbox, giving it a little bit of an interesting look, something you wouldn't typically see. And yeah, basically we're just gonna have fun. Oh, we already tested the footage. It actually kind of looks kind of cool from the inside. Obviously it's not the most cinematic look, doesn't have as much depth as well, but we're hoping that the result's still gonna look good. Currently we're gonna be shooting the short film on the R6 Mark II. We've got the Polar Pro uh, matte box system as well as their mist filter on here right now. And we're shooting at 4K uh, IPB. And uh, yeah, this is our main camera for the film alongside with this Osmo action. So uh, hopefully it turns out well. Uh, we're gonna try to avoid people who are coming in and out of the condos and hopefully let them access uh, their mailbox uh, so we're not disturbing their day. Okay, so we're just placing a little bit of tape here on the Osmo action that Tori just stepped on and completely ruined. Bro. Two seconds. Yeah, yeah. You just stepped on the Osmo. Just gonna place it inside and hopefully we'll have enough room for it not to, because we have to have the mail in it but we also don't want it too far away so that it's got a nice perspective here. So the camera is just right there, tucked inside behind the mail, and uh, that's gonna be our shot for most of the film. I think it looks okay. It's gonna be blown out though. That's the thing. Scene four, take two. I cannot believe you have me in this scenario right now. This is actually kind of cool. I can't even like move my shoulders. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, this is DIY filmmaking, indie filmmaking. So what are you doing right now? We are shooting the establishing shot. Of course, I'm wedged in between the mailboxes. Like, Wor worth it though, right? It better be. <laughs> <laughs> hey, so uh, I'm just, uh, I've got a pile of clothing here because we're just changing in and out of different shirts to make it look like we're passing time, like it's different days. And I'm going to go check the mailbox. Obviously it's not, luckily, uh, I don't have to change my pants because they're not in any other shots. If someone does comment on that, then you are just ridiculous. I'm just going to change it to the final outfit here where we find the pink letter that's on the ground. So that's the whole purpose of the film is that I finally get a love letter or whatever that letter is. And so yeah, one thing I did forget though is that we didn't write anything on the letters. We're going to need an over the shoulder shot of what's on the letter. So uh, I'm just going to send Tori right now to go grab a pen. So. Yo. So we now have the letter uh, and a pen, but we actually have to write something on the letter. So it looks like there's like a name or something, but we're trying to figure that out right now. We actually have no idea what to write. What the hell did you do just, to the pen? It's not even going to let us, oh, it's Tori and I just finished uh, the shoot, wrapping up. It took a lot longer than we expected, but I think we're pretty happy with the shots we've gotten. Uh, not too sure about the Osmo, because we did have to crank up the shutter speed in order to make the exposure look good. Uh, but fingers crossed it'll look okay. Ready to roll. All right, so that was the behind the scenes of a short film that Tori and I shot quite a few months ago. It's currently the middle of winter. Everything's changed since then. It was a really fun project to work on because we wanted to sort of test ourselves, so learn how to make some films really quickly, but also experiment. So one of the main goals was to shoot with an Osmo Action, not typically a cinema camera. So I had purchased the Osmo Action in order to get some underwater content, but also to get some unique angles, of course, but I hadn't really actually used it. The one time I went to Hawaii with it, we didn't have a chance to go underwater or diving or anything. So I figured it'd be a good opportunity to try to test out this camera in a different setting and see what we can use it for. One of the things that it allows you to do is because it's so small, it can fit into small spaces. And so I figured why not use that sort of small factor form factor. Why not use that small form factor? Just because again, we get to practice filmmaking, put something together, put a story together really quickly, but also be super creative with it. One of the things I really enjoy about filmmaking is that 
it allows you to develop this problem solving skill of like always looking for the next solution. So for example, during the film, we ran into a couple of issues that we had to solve really quickly. One of the main issues was as soon as we would grab the mail or every now and then if we bump something by accident, we would knock the camera and the angle would change. We didn't want the camera to move. So what we ended up doing was taping the Osmo Action inside the actual mailbox. And that way we had a consistent look throughout everything, which made the cut even more seamless in the final edit. We also played around a little bit with the audio because it's a very screeching sound. It's metal, it's boomy. We had to make sure that we had the right audio in order to get some of the different elements. So the keys rocking in and inside and out of the lock. And so we placed Tori in between the mailbox inside in a very uncomfortable position, but it allowed us to get the boom in the right position in order to get the right sound effect for the film and for that shot. Of course, there, we had some exposure issues. The Osmo Action isn't a cinema camera. We would have liked to have put like, for example, like a mist filter on it because we were shooting uh, on the R6 with a mist filter. It would have been cool to add that feature onto the Osmo. We were at least able to fix the exposure issues by overcranking the shutter speed on the Osmo, which isn't ideal. You can tell it's a little bit sharper than what you would typically want, but it was fun to experiment because we were able to control that and make sure that we had the right exposure for what we needed. And I think the result is reasonably good. Another big issue we had, which was, I mean, just the location that so we had a couple of people coming in and out, uh, grabbing mail and stuff like that. We actually had also the, the mail person, the person delivering the mail and putting it in the mailbox come by during that time. And they put something in my mailbox and they were like getting stuck. So yeah, again, we had a blast making this film. Hopefully we'll be making a few more of these short films. If you guys have any recommendations, obviously we'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments. If you guys have any feedback on the, the film itself, please leave them in the comments. You can also head over, uh, it'll be in the description or the end notes, et cetera, will be uh, down in the description here if you wanna find the link to the actual short film. If you like the video, you guys can always hit the thumbs up. Feel free to subscribe to the channel if you guys wanna see more content like this. Otherwise, uh, we'll see you guys in the next one. Cheers.